Once upon a time in a land both proud and free, people lived and worked in growing prosperity. Most of them worked and improved their lot, which led to good things, even at the top. But a strange economic sect arose to relate. Follow us and what's good will be great. Our trickle-down theory is what's good for you. See, if the rich get richer, they might throw you some stew. These economic wizards had a wonderful trick and sold their new theory to politicians right quick, who lavished the rich with tax cuts quite healthy. Deregulation and loopholes made the richest more wealthy. We must cut back and chop to give them free reign. Scraps from above will soon end our acute pain. What's good for the top must be good for us all. Any day now, those trickle-down riches would fall. So education was cut and roads crumbled fast. With the rich getting richer, 30 years soon passed. And nothing much happened but a gap growing wider. Oh, and crashing stock markets and the great credit collider. Till one day spoke a girl just three feet tall. But, but if the middle does better, that's good for us all. The top said pshaw, and politicians said fool. You'll eventually get your trickle-down stew. But it was too late. The middle class had awoken. There was good sense in what the girl had just spoken. It's the big middle that makes up the most. Workers, inventors, and innovation to boast. And with more in their pockets, they could buy things again. The economy'd be healthy for more than just them. With the middle much better, the top would be too. And there'd be no waiting round for that mythical stew. For an economy that works is one for all. We're in this together! Is the girl's sweet call? But lest you get giddy and dance to the ocean, those trickle-down wizards are still selling their potion.